This problem says, for the following exercises, use synthetic division to find the quotient. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do number 17. 17 out of all of these is the weirdest. And if you're not sure about how to do this in general um, for just integer zeros, um, then watch the previous video. But for this one, we're going to deal with this 2x plus 1 that we're actually going to divide with. So the first thing to understand here is this is the factor, but what is the zero of that? And the zero of that is going to be a negative one half. So one thing you can do if you're not sure where that's coming from, you could take 2x plus 1 and find out what makes it zero. Find out for what x. So then I would subtract 1, so then I get 2x equals negative 1, divide by 2, and x equals 1 half. So where x is negative 1 half is where this is 0. So we're just kind of going back and forth with that idea. So seeing if this is a factor or talking about the 0 of that polynomial. And when we use synthetic division, the 0 of that polynomial sits out here. Now this may not necessarily be a 0 of this polynomial here, the 4x cubed minus 12x squared minus 5x minus 1, but it is a 0 of the divisor. And that's what we're looking for here. So and that goes for all of these. So for instance, if I was looking at 14, the number outside here would be negative 3, because if I plug in negative 3 there, that's what's going to make that 0. So that's how the synthetic division works um, when I'm putting placing this number to the left outside here. And then all I'm going to do is write the coefficients of the numbers on the inside here. And remember, we have to make sure that we're not, uh, that we don't miss a term. And what I mean by that is if there's not an x squared, I still have to put a 0 there if there wasn't an x squared. So kind of keep that in mind as you go through these. So every slot has to be accounted for. All right, so now draw the line. Oops, let me try to draw a straighter line. Okay, there it is. Bring down the first number, and 4 times negative 1 half is negative 2. Then I add those. So I'm going to add these together. So it's going to be negative 14 times it by a negative a half. That's going to make it a positive 7. Then I add those together now, and that's going to be a 2 positive, because the 7 is bigger. Then I times those, and that's going to be a negative 1. So then I add those, I get negative 2. Now for this one, we're trying to find if it's a quote, if we're trying to find the quotient of it. So remember, in the previous video, I talked about that. This number on the end here is equal to my Rx. That's my remainder. And my Qx is going to be 4x squared minus 14x plus 2. And that's what my Qx is. And that's going to be what this results in here. Now remember, when I divide by a linear term here, or a linear factor, or I should say a linear expression, that's better, um, it's going to take away a degree from this. So now I should end up with an x squared, and that's what we end up with. So that's what the Qx uh, turns out to be. So this should be our answer right here. And keep in mind, it didn't go into it evenly, so this 2x plus 1 is not a factor of 4x cubed minus 12x squared minus 5x minus 1 for the simple fact that my rx is not equal to 0. Now, if that turned out to be 0 there, then that 2x plus 1 would be a factor of 4x cubed minus 12x squared minus 5 minus 1. So there's our answer for this one here.